Hey, what's going on guys? Luis here, and 2014 was going to be the year of the smartwatch, and everyone was expected to be wearing something smart at the end of their wrist by 2014. But nothing really sparked into mainstream, and while there were some good smartwatches like the Moto 360 and the LG GR watch, um, they didn't really have a whole lot of innovation going for them. They only had the typical screen that sits on your wrist, and that's about it. The only reason why I still haven't bought a smartwatch is because my phone can do pretty much everything that a smartwatch can. It can read notifications, I can look at the time. I mean, it pretty much has all the features that I need, and I'm not sure about you, but I'm not ready to drop $200, $250 on a smartwatch right now. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm waiting for innovation. I'm waiting for a new feature or a new design that's actually gonna make me want to buy that smartwatch and pay a lot of money for it. And then I found this, the secret smartwatch. It essentially uses a small projector at the bottom of a smartwatch, which is able to display an Android interface and you can actually interact with it with a couple of proximity sensors. So it works just like a regular phone. You can use it to send text messages, play games, watch movies, or even look up directions. And there's a lot that you can do with it but there's also a lot of limitations like writing on this thing. It's probably not gonna feel as natural because you're typing directly into your skin, so writing long emails or sending text messages are probably not gonna be the best uses for the smartwatch. And the resolution of the projector is also going to be very important, but by the looks of it, it doesn't look to be anything above 720p, so hopefully for the second generation, they'll be able to have a better looking display. And some other features include an accelerometer, a vibration module, and an LED for notifications. And I'm sure that the company will work in the future to have some fitness features in there so that it can be a little bit more appealing to everyone. So yeah, when you think about it, this is really a tiny computer sitting right on your wrist. It has a processor, a battery, a memory module, a Wi-Fi adapter, and a whole bunch of other parts that make up a computer. So the company Secret has been working on this for a very long time, and they recently released a video showing the first working prototype of the Secret smartwatch. And as you can tell, it's still in a very early stage, but with a little bit more development, it can definitely turn into something a little bit more functional. You can still access the basic features like messages, phone, and calendar, but you can't really run any Android apps or any Android interface right now, but it's a working prototype and I'm really excited for it. The CEO of the company said that the smartwatch will be coming in the next couple of years and it's gonna cost $400, which isn't all that bad considering what you're paying for. And I think that if they market it well and if it works as intended, it's gonna sell pretty well. So whether you think it's a gimmick or not, I really like this concept because it's innovative and it's something that no one has really ever done before. And it gets me excited for the things that are coming in the near future in the wearable tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was a really interesting video to make and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and as always I will see you guys next time